Hi everyone, it's Stacy from PeonyLandesigns.com. Thought I'd whisper it today. <laughs> Have you subscribed to the channel? If not, click the little blue button. Don't forget to click the subscribe button, comment down below, like this video, and click the bell icon to be notified. Okay, SMR time is over. Now we're gonna get loud. Um, ooh, headed to pick it today. I have to put my sunglasses on for this. Um, yeah, I know, they're big. They're my diva shades. Love my diva shades. <laughs> Let's do that. That's right, guys, I just turned gorgeous. Just gorgeous. These cover a lot of ills, let me tell you. There are days that the dark circles have just gotten ahead of me, and I'm like, all right, pop those baby bad boys. Look like a bug, but who cares? Anyway, <laughs> heading to pick it for my first day working the sale. So we were open yesterday. Ooh, Tupperware, calm down. Uh, we were open yesterday. I got quite a few calls yesterday saying, you didn't price this, you didn't price this, you didn't price this. Um, irritatingly enough, it, were, it was pieces I know were priced last month. They were in there last month, they were priced, and somehow yesterday they didn't have a price. Uh, I'm so irritated. Cause like last month, um, one of the ladies, one of the pieces, one of, so, one, one of the customers said, would the vendor take less on this? And I had to say, we don't do that here. We don't really negotiate and all that stuff. That's why I know it was priced. I mean, you can try to gaslight me. <laughs> and then there was the three pictures from cars that were on the sidewall or the little space between spaces. And one of them sold. And I know the other two were priced at the same time. So I'm like, how did that not have a price on it? So it either fell off somewhere. There was a lot apparently that was falling off. I think it's a thing now, and I, I hate to be a conspiracy theorist, but I told my husband, I said, it seems like Wednesdays, there's a lot of tags that go missing. And even Thursday when I've been working, and it's vendors, not necessarily me, but like there are certain vendors that we know forget to price things, and then there are those vendors that you're like, really? Are you sure it didn't fall off somewhere around it? Because this vendor does not forget to price things, which I guess we can all have a bad day. But there was one instance last month where this particular vendor's booth, it was like almost every piece. And I'm like, you were having a bad month. And she said, I know I priced them. And I thought, yeah, it's a thing now where I think they pulled the tag off and they think they're gonna get a better price. So my new policy is if they call me for a price on something I know I've priced, I jack the price up. <laughs> because I, I have a feeling that the tag will mysteriously reappear if I make it high enough, right? If not, it won't sell and uh, then I can just price it the next day when I come in. I can change the price when I come in. I just think it's amusing because it seems to be happening a lot. Like a lot, a lot. Tags are just missing and I'm going, okay, but this vendor. Now there are a couple that I'm like, oh, found it in this booth. Yeah, I'll we'll give her a call. Because they're notoriously bad at, ooh, that is a lot of geese. No, 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 geesey, geesey. Get off the road, get off the road, get off the road. It was like eight flocks. Holy crap, get the flock out of here. Um, anyway. So there, there are the, the frequent flyers as far as we're getting price tags, but this is, lately it's been vendors and I'm like, what, no. So there, there are little issues and I think because you're dealing with personalities and people and customers are trying something here and there I swear last year it was the somebody was the notorious garage sale tagger they brought garage sale labels and stuck it over tags unfortunately the people's 
that they stuck the tag over would never use that. Never. <laughs> they would use these beautiful craft paper tags and they meticulously handmade all their tags and so for them to suddenly stick a garage sale label on it it's like yeah that didn't happen and I caught quite a few of the garage sale tagger the worst part is is like they didn't take the thing to buy they just literally walked around and tagged stuff with garage sale tags I'm like what I'm gonna go to the car and get the last bag of Tupperware. I got all the other stuff out there. Didn't sell too much, but that's all right. Okay, so not a lot sold. It was just a big mess, but I'm gonna get it all cleaned up. I've already unloaded the bags. Um, did sell that lamp, so I replaced it with this one. That was the one that was up there. So I gotta move some stuff around. This was the basket they called me about and that had had like a little mess going on, but um, didn't sell, so I just cleaned that up, but the cards back in place, there were kind of cards strewn everywhere. And I'm going to uh, do up the shelves. I went ahead and I printed a brochure about how safe is Tupperware because we get questions on that all the time. People make comments, I printed up 20 of them. Keep them here so that they can read up on it if they wish and know that it is safe to sell vintage Tupperware, just not the microwavable stuff, which was sold in the 90s. So keep that handy little tip in mind when you're selling vintage Tupperware. And I sold Tupperware measuring cup and that little cars picture that I had that was here. So that did sell. Well, at least it's not here. Sometimes it's not always if it's sold. It's that it's not here. And it can end up in other people's booths. So maybe it's sold. <laughs> maybe it's sold. It's not here. <laughs> That's a good sign. Um, but I was looking at my picture of the shelves and it looks like a Tupperware measuring cup. Measuring cup, sweet. Okay. Who knew that was even going to put it in? I'm glad, it, I'm glad it's gone though. But I'm going to load up these shelves and then I've got this egg basket I think I'm going to put on the porch. And, um, uh, yeah. That's going to be it, I think. No, I have some, I have some flower frogs I'm going to put out. I'm going to load up with Tupperware flower frogs. And then I have that seed sample pack. A Victoria phone in the free box. Put that out too. Cause I know there's a crafter that comes in here looking for these and I'm only going to put a couple bucks on it for her. She can make a pocket or something out of it. She makes clothes with the old seed cloth. Wouldn't that be a cute little pocket decal? She's <laughs> gonna make a pocket out of it. Um, but other than that, I don't think I really need to do much. Just clean up. I mean, there's obviously they, they move stuff around and it's just a little disheveled. So get it all cleaned up for the people coming today. <clears throat> That's best we can do. That's what we're gonna do. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I had to go back and look, but a clock that was right there sold. So I put these candles in its place. I had these two pillar candles that I had picked up and I'm not going to use them because I, when I cleaned out my buffet, I realized how many candles I have. So I stuck these on to be sold. Okay. So I cleaned up these shelves. I moved this picture from the shelf over there. All that. I cleaned up the magnets because they were on the floor. Uh, these still haven't sold. I didn't show you where I put the quilts, but those are the baby quilts. This is now expanding into more Tupperware. I have more Tupperware at home. I have two more bags to restock in case it's needed on Saturday. So on Saturday, I want to make sure there's stuff for the people that come. And then over here, not much changed except I added the candles. Moved this over to behind the boots, which I think helps the boots stand out more. And then I put the seed pack in there, cleaned all this up. Moved that lamp into there because one sold. I think that'll display better anyway. 
And that's it, really. And then move little turkey over. That's it. Wish me luck. Six hours later. <sighs> I am tired. <laughs> um, it was a good sale. It was a good sale day. Day went quick, but I'm exhausted. I'm running and running and running and running. Um, glad I brought all the Tupperware. I made my rent a Tupperware today. So now everything that I sell for going forward will be profit. One of the tags that, one of the tickets that was written up for my um, Tupperware was $88. I'm telling you, make your rent on Tupperware. People love it. And I, why I've waited so long to bring it in and do a big display is beyond me. I don't know why. But yeah. $88 for one woman. She bought canisters. And then um, a bunch of people bought like random pieces here and there. And I'm going to have to bring more in tonight and fill in because if I'm, hey, make hay okay, while well, the sun shines. We are back in the car. Got a text. Um, the canister set, the four yellow canisters sold so that's awesome that means we're in profit territory for sure i'm going to restock tupperware tupperware my career's been built on tupperware <laughs> that isn't even an exaggeration um so a lot of you have told me that you found me because of an article on Vintage Tupperware in Martha Stewart magazine. Right? So, that's why I'm here, right? Because a lot of people, uh, well, Matt and um, I don't know, what was it? Woman's World was the other one. But that wasn't Vintage Tupperware. That was just a profile on me. Uh, but the the Martha Stewart thing was a fluke, a total fluke. And now I'm selling vintage shopware like crazy, and I should just stick to it. I should just. Why I even question but bringing it in here? I mean, I was like, I'll put it online. It's not gonna sell. And then I saw other vendors were starting to bring pieces in. And I went, fine. I'll bring pieces in. Shock and awe on the Tupperware, right? I mean, yeah. One of the vendors said to me today, how did you get all this Tupperware? <laughs> oh, I've been collecting it for years. <laughs> and I went to Junk Bonanza and I sold a ton of it. And I'm selling more. And it's just been... I honestly did not expect it to sell as well at Pickett because I didn't lower my prices. I left my prices where I know they should be because otherwise I'm going to take it home and I'm going to put it online and I know it's going to sell. I am not changing the price because I know what I can get for it online and I know I can sell it online and it's easy to ship and it's light and it's easy to pack and it's easy to store because it all nests inside each other. So yeah, not not at all. Not at all worried about any of that stuff. So I was not going to drop the price. But I'm just like another canister set sold. So I've got the last of it. Well, I have white Tupperware. White Tupperware does not sell. It's the colors. The, the bright colors, the crystal colors. That's what sells. The pickle lily left too pickle lifter. I knew that wasn't gonna. That, I'm like, as soon as I post this, or so as soon as I put this out, this is gone. So what's left of it is in two bags next to me and we're gonna put it in a picket and that's gonna be it because I have white Tupperware I can bring in and I have a few replacement pieces that I could, I mean, I can sell replacement pieces, I guess. 
but I'm gonna have to start hunting more Tupperware. <laughs> there is indeed a gaping hole where there used to be a canister set. Let's see if we can fit all of this in. It's nothing up. Oh. And the other tulip lamp. So <laughs> told you guys, two days, two tulip lamps. Magic. Those things sell every time. Okay, I had to move some glass out, but that's pretty much going to be it for me as far as Tupperware. I'm, I may have some in other boxes that I haven't gotten to, but yeah, like fill it up. <laughs> this is my last wagon wheel coaster. Oh, this makes me sad. It's my last one. Well, last one that's not on Etsy. And then I put the bird over here because got no more tulip lamps. I have a broken one. If I can rewire it, which I don't have the stuff to do it. I don't have the right lamp kit, so <sighs> sadly, I do not want to be buying it. So it's just going to have to wait. Sold two of them. That's enough. That's enough for now. Until I can either find another tulip lamp or fix that one. I have another shade as well, so I have a intact shade. But yeah, I'm happy with the Tupperware selling. That's awesome. And then, let's see. There's this. I feel like something's gone here, but I can't tell you what it is. My brain will not lock onto what it was. That's it, y'all. Sold a lot of cards today, too. The, uh, what doesn't, you know, the Sparks Joy card sold again. I'm going to have to order more of those. And before I forget, the baby quilt that was gray sold. So I'm going to take this hanger home, but that means I have two baby quilts left in here. That was, I priced them at $25. So that's a nice little ad. Hopefully these two sell this weekend. And the ship's wheel from the porch sold. So, we are officially in profit territory the whole rest of the sale. Everything that sells from here on out, we've made rent and part of back rent. <sighs> Feels good, not gonna lie, after last month, you know, it nearly broke me. Falling my eyes out, big old baby. <laughs> it was the third month in a row though that was tight, but I mean, it was the first time that it, it was not rent. So, yay. Oh, my porch space isn't doing better, though. So, I gotta... I don't know what I'm gonna do. Friday morning, I'm gonna... Or, tomorrow is Friday. For Saturday, I'm gonna have to bring a bunch more stuff. For the, uh... Porch. For my booth. I don't even know just gonna go ham just load it up to see if I can find any Tupperware tomorrow like in my stuff somewhere that I haven't I'm a Tupperware lady and then guess what I made an Etsy sale guess what it was <laughs> yeah it was Tupperware <laughs> Earl Tupper and Brownie Wise have been good to me the original MLM. <laughs> oh my gosh. Y'all. It's something. It was something. Okay, I'm obviously getting ready for bed. However, just made my second Etsy sale for the day. Um, you're not going to believe what it is. <laughs> Freaking Tupperware. Oh, I'm just a Tupperware lady, y'all. Happy junkin'. Good night. Visit my blog, peonylanedesigns.com, for more tips, tricks, and inspiration. Thanks for watching, everyone. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon so you'll be notified of new videos. I post every week DIY tutorials and, of course, 
more Junkin videos.